Bonjour Newton, hope you are all doing really well at home and that you're staying safe. safe. For today's French lesson, we're going to go through a PowerPoint that I've made myself. This PowerPoint has got sound on, so please turn up your speaker. Because of lockdown, parents and students can have access now for free, including yourself, I'm sure, to students' piece and ebook. Please click on that hyperlink in blue, then click ebook, tick you've read the terms and conditions, then go on to Studio GCSC and then you can view the ebook as if you got a book in front of you. And now, if you got your exercise book, write today's date, lundi le 27 avril, the title is on ni, meaning we, dot, 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 there. If you haven't got your exercise book, you can pick up a, um, a book where you can use it for French or a Word document, then type in a Word document, then you can save uh, into your folder. Now, for the general activity, I want you to look at the text about the Alsace, which is a, a region in France. Then I want you to look for all the sentences that use the word Y, the letter Y, meaning there, all the verbs in present tense, modal verbs and adjectives. For instance, sentences using the letter Y, meaning there, first paragraph, j'y habite, meaning I live there, I've lived there. Verbs in present tense, uh, an example, paragraph number one, je connais. Um, then modal verbs, third paragraph, on peut faire, we can do. And adjectives, uh, I think that is an adjective in the paragraph two, the word beau, or beautiful. Now here's the answer using uh, with certain syllabi use related to why, verbs and present tenses, modal verbs, adjectives. Now today we're going to look at how to talk about a regent when you know well. Uh, so that you can understand someone talking about region they know well, understand where to put the why, meaning there, in a sentence. Uh, homework for Thursday, next French lesson. Uh, I want you to do self-quizzing. It's going to be a quizzing, uh, quizzing test. Uh, learn in the certain topic, le temps. Learn from il fait beau mauvais, up to en été, autant hiver. Now, I want you to traduire ce texte en anglais, to translate this text into English. Try to avoid using Google Translate, okay? Use your study guide or use word reference so I can maybe work out the gist of the text. Now, here's the answer. Okay, so, so originally I know well it's the Alsace, you know, east of France. Uh, I've lived there for 12 years. I love the landscape in Alsace. We find their mountains, forest fields. It's very, very beautiful. In summer, we can go cycling or horse riding. There are several cycling paths and equestrian paths. If you're courageous, you can also go rock climbing. But the most popular sports are winter sports. Alsace is the most ideal region for skiing. For those who don't know, for those who don't like sport, there are several cultural activities. For instance, you can visit beautiful castles, such as the castle of HK is really impressive. There is a famous person who comes from the Alsace, and that you must know. It's football coach Arsene Wenger, who was born in Strasbourg. Personally, I used to uh, to live in Strasbourg uh, for maybe 10 months, 12 months. It's a very, very beautiful uh, region, place. Now, the letter Y, meaning there. Okay, so on the left hand side, we've got some expressions. Je vais en ville, tu vas au cinéma, il est allé à la piscine, nous sommes allés à New York, ils vont à la patinoire. Now, I want to replace what is on the line, en ville, au cinéma, à la piscine, à New York, à la patinoire, by the letter Y, meaning there. So, example, je vais en ville, I go to town, I want to say I go there. Now, the, how to do that? Look at the green section on the right hand side. It's a problem of Y means there. It replaces A plus a noun. In present tense, why goes in front of a verb? For instance, on y va tous les ans, va is a verb, so why goes before a verb, meaning we go there every year. If a verb is followed by an infinitive, why goes in front of an infinitive? Example, tu peux faire de la voile, faire is infinitive, so why would we go before faire? You can go sailing there. In perfect tense, past tense, why goes in front of a part of avoir or être? So if you look at je suis allé dernière, 
part of être there is switch so y goes before that so that means j'ai switch allé l'année dernière and went there last year so je vais en ville for instance will be j'y vais j apostrophe y v now please submit your work on y for show my homework if you've chosen to complete this work on a computer then upload the file you've created if you choose to write this please take a photo of your work and upload this instead now some more practice of a y so as you can see on the left hand side you've got about 10 expressions using your letter y meaning there so who switch where am i so i want you to match up where these people are well where what activity we can do there with the places on the right hand side so for instance we put energy meaning in english we can swim there so where can you swim there it's got to be if you look on the right hand side it's la piscine meaning the swimming pool so on peut nager et call la piscine so this is what i want you to do and here's the answer okay so la piscine then it's gonna be the cinema and so on